Y'all making it seem like God ain't never did nothing for you. Yeah, you come on, yeah. church. Come on, church. Come on, That's what I like. Morning. You want to record? You want to record? You want to record? So over past couple, past couple weeks, months, past couple weeks and months, Lord has been speaking to me to give a word. Yes, yes. He didn't tell me who I was gonna give the word to. He didn't tell me when I was gonna give the word. He's just been leading me to a word. Amen. And that word is an X. Because it's a lot of people who are like Saul. Mm. You know Saul. He used to kill people. Mm. Because it's what he thought it was right. Because it was within the law that it was okay. Mm. He was killing all God's people. Mm. Some of us know why, some of us don't. But he was leading unto his own understanding yes, sir. instead of leading unto the understanding of God. Yes. So some of us, we're like Saul, mm. just going around, sinning, doing whatever we want mm. because it's easier not to be saved than it is to be saved. Yeah, right? Amen. Amen. And some of us, we got to be saved. Yes, sir. So I'm taking you to Acts mm -hmm. 9 and 10. Nine and 10. So today, today's word is going to be about the Damascus Road. Mm. Come on now. A role of salvation mm. and deliverance. All right now. A role a lot of us need to go down. Amen. Because we've gone to a backslidden state where we're rebelling against God and going against his will and going against his word. Mm. We're doing everything we want to do and we're not doing what God wants us yes. to do. Yes. And it reads, and I'm becoming from the Christian standard Bible. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias. And the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, here I am, the Lord. He replied, get up and go to the, go to the street called Street. The Lord said to him, to the house of Judas, and asked for a man from Tarsus named Saul since he was praying there. In a vision, he had seen a man named Ananias coming into place, his hands on him, and the man, and they regained his sight. Lord, Ananias answered, I have heard from many people about this man. How much harm, has, how much harm he has done to your saints in Jerusalem. He has authority here from the chief priest to arrest all who call on your name. But the Lord said unto him, go to this man. And go to this man for this man is my chosen instrument to take my Gentiles, kings, and Israelites. I will show, show him how much he must suffer for my name. So I'm being asked quite a bit today. But that's just the start. <laughs> so Saul, while he was in Jerusalem, he was killing off God's disciples. So Saul thought it's right. But the Lord had to show him that it's not right. And the way God broke Saul's knees mm. was by taking his sight away. He still had eyes, but he couldn't see. Mm. He had to have people guide him through mm. because he could not see. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've heard a saying, either you can bend your knees or 
God will break them. Mm. And God has to break Saul's knees by taking his son. Mm. But God had a man named Ananias go to Saul. Now I can imagine Ananias was a little frightful at first because of what he's heard about Saul. Because Saul had authority from someone higher than he is. And that higher position wasn't God. Mm. It was a higher position on earth. Mm. So I can imagine that Ananias was a little frightful at first. But he didn't question God. Mm. Mm. He was just doing what God told him to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He responded to God. I have heard from many people about this man. Mm. And that's where I get my accusation that Ananias was a little frightful at first. Mm. Because Saul has done so much harm to your people. Yeah. But Ananias. He went along with it. Because he knew that God was going to be there right with him. He knew that God was going to watch over him. Make sure everything was all right. He wasn't going to let any hurt, harm, or danger come upon in the night. Take your time, Amen. son. Take your time. Trying to find the right uh, spirit, son. Mm -hmm. Acts 16, verse 16 through 18. Once, as we were on our way to pray, slave girl met. Oh, no, that's not right. My bad. <laughs> You know, there is power when we're saved. Yes. yes. God uses certain people to minister to certain to other people who have been in positions they've been in. Amen. Yes. Amen. So sometimes when you pray and God doesn't answer your prayer right then and there, mm -hmm. that's because God's working on you. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes you might plant a tomato. Sometimes you might plant bamboo. Mm. Tomatoes grow faster than bamboo because bamboo takes three years to grow. Yes. So sometimes you just got to be patient with them. Yes. 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 You can't just expect God to bring your seed into a harvest in the blink of an eye. Amen. It takes time. Yes, Amen. You got to work on it. You got to work on it so he can perfect it for you. Yes. Yeah. And so that you have it when you need it. Yeah. Not Amen. When you want it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. And then we go down a Damascus road. Mm -hmm. We're patient with God. And we bend our knees before He has to break them. Amen. We've got power within us. Yes. Yeah. And that power can allow things to happen suddenly. Amen. Mm. Yes, it can. Because in Acts 16, 26, it says, Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the jail were shaken, and immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's chains came loose. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if we allow ourselves to go down a Damascus road and see God's salvation, And then we learn how to pray and ask God to do things suddenly. God can do it. Yes. Because that earthquake didn't happen on its own because mm. of what science could have said. Mm. Because God allowed it to happen. Yes. Yes. Because they were praying. Mm. 
Yes. That something suddenly yes. would happen. Uh -huh. Yes. And that suddenly happened. Yes. But it had to take some time. Yeah. Yes. So even though it said suddenly, it was still within the words. Yes. yes. In Acts 9, 3. As he traveled and was near Damascus, a light from heaven suddenly flashed around him, falling to the ground. He heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting? Who are you, Lord? Saul said, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting, he replied. But get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. So God, he will come to you, and he will tell you what you must do, because he chose you to do his work. Yes, yes he did. Yeah. And it says that Saul fell to his knees, mm. because a light flashed around him. Mm. Now, I take it that he wasn't familiar with this light, mm. and that it was something new to him, yes. since he was killing off God's disciples, uh -huh. since Saul was not saved, mm -hmm. since Saul was still leading unto his own understanding. Mm. He fell to his knees at the sight of God's light. And he listened to what the Lord had to say. Yes. The Lord told him to go into the city yes. where you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, hearing the sound but seeing no one. Mm. Saul got up from the ground and through his eyes were open. Yeah. He, could, he could see nothing. So they took him by the hand and led him into Damascus. He was unable to see for three days mm. and did not eat or drink. So God had to break Saul's knees yes, sir. by taking away his sight. Yeah, all right. And I take it that Saul didn't have any intention on going into Damascus mm -hmm. since God told him. Yeah. To go into the city. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's where he would be told what he must do. So God, he really broke Saul's knees. Well, he couldn't see for three days straight. Mm. And he did not eat or drink <coughs> anything. And like I said, I, you can bend your knees, mm -hmm. but God, he will break them. Yes. Yes. You know, Saul, he was baptized so he could do God's work properly. Mm -hmm. And Saul was changed to Paul. Yes. And the point of this message today is to tell you that God can use anybody. Yes. And I, when I say anybody, I mean anybody. Yes. It doesn't matter what you've done in the past. Uh -huh. Yes. Because we all have a past. Yes. God can use you. Amen. You could have been a convicted felon. God can still use you. Amen. You could have been an adulterer. God can still use you. Come on now. You could have been a stripper, a pimp, a drug dealer. It doesn't matter what you've done. God can still use you. Amen. Amen. We all have a past. We all done some things we wish we shouldn't have. Amen. But God can still use us. Yes. If God chose us to do his work, God's going to make sure we do his work. Yes. Amen. Either we bend our knees or we break them. Or he breaks them. God's going to use us to do his work. Yes. No matter what it is we've done. Yes. yes. We just have to pray and repent that he forgives us for it. Yes. Yes. Then we have to go into a baptism. Yes. 
Yes. To be safe and cleansed yes. from everything we've done. Yes. yes. So we can do God's work properly. Yes. Come on now. And he uses certain people to minister to people in places that we've been before. Yes. Because we can relate to what they've been through. Yeah. And we can help and guide them to whatever they what whatever it is they're going through. Yes. And that's why God can use anybody he yeah. so pleases to. Yeah, yes. God's going to make sure that whatever he say he do, he's going to do it. Yes. He's a man that cannot lie. That's right. And he'll never go back on his promise. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We may have gone against God, but God will never go against us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, God may allow some things to happen to you. Yeah. Just uh, break your knees and open your eyes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. God is not going to go back on his promise. Yeah. yeah, it may look like things are going wrong all around you. It may seem like the world is about to fall from under your feet. But God's going to allow some things to happen. Yeah. So you can see. So you can feel. Yes. That life isn't easy. But he's going to always be there for you. Yes. He's going to stand there with you. Yes. Make sure that you're okay. Yes. Amen. Because God... He was hung on a cross. Mm. He was whipped. And he was left to die. Mm. So what he endured for a day, mm. we can endure for a night. Mm. Yes. Yes. He's going to make sure that we're all right. Yes, right. Yes. That's right. Because he made a promise to us. Yes. That he would never leave us. Yes. Nor forsake us. Yes. Hallelujah. So if things are going wrong, God didn't forsake you. Yes, sir. God didn't leave you. Yes. He just wanted some things to happen. Yes. So you can minister to other people yes. who are going through what you went through. Yes. He's going to allow you to go through the fire. Mm. But he won't let the flame burn you. Amen. Yes. yes. He will allow you to walk through rivers. Yes. But you won't be overwhelmed. That's right. You may bend, but you won't break. Amen. Because God is on your side. Amen. God has got you. Yes. He's watching over you, making sure that you do what he wants you to do. Yes. That's why when we go down the Damascus Road, we come out a whole new person. Amen. Amen. We could have being an adulterer, mm -hmm. ministering to people who are committing adultery, mm -hmm. so we can save their lives mm. and spare them from going to hell. All right. No matter what you've done, God's going to use you. That's right. Whether you like it or not. That's right. And you can run, but you can't hide from the call of God who's got on your life. That's yeah. right. Because yeah. God, he's going to make sure you do what he wants you to do. That's right. So yes, some of us may not have have to go on down the Damascus Road, but as long as we continue to read about it and understand it, we can pray that some people go down the Damascus Road. That's right. And it's not a bad thing to pray for somebody. It's actually a good thing. That's right. Because you're sparing their life yes. from going to hell. Yes. You're sparing their soul from going to hell. Yes. That's right. So that prayer is a powerful prayer. Yes, it is. That somebody goes down to Damascus Road. That's right. Because Saul, he used to be one of the worst people you could ever know. Mm. Yeah. But after going down the Damascus Road experience, and seeing how God can break your knees since you don't want to bend them, <laughs> that you can be a powerful man or woman of God. That's right. He can use a man, he can use a woman, boy, girl. He can use anybody. 
That's right. He 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 chooses. That's right. We just gotta learn and understand mm -hmm. why we're going through what we're going through. Yes. We just have to learn and understand how to pray through. That's right. We just gotta learn and understand how God is gonna stand next to us. Yes. And allow us to keep going even when we want to give up. That's right. Yeah. Preach. Can't be fearful when God tells us or shows us something. Yes. We have to understand what He's trying to tell us and what He's trying to show us. Yes. And if we understand it, then we gotta go along with the ride. That's right. That's right. We have to continue to pray yes, sir. that God will use us. Yes. Because if God showed you something, <laughs> He wants to use you. Amen. If God shows you something, you got to understand why you're going through it. That's right. You have to understand that you're going to be a, a powerful instrument. That's a, right. A piece of the instrument God had. That's right. To destroy all evil. Yes. And to help save others. Yes. So if God shows you something, or God tells you something, you can't be fearful and question God on why He wants us to do it. You have to say yes, God. That's right. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. So even though we may not understand everything He wants us to do, God is going to make sure that he guides us through. That's right. So yeah, we may not understand it, but that's all right. Yeah. Because God is going to help you get through it. Yes. Through everything you've been through. Yes. Through everything you've seen, heard. God is going to make sure you come out all right. That's right. Yeah. God is going to do it exactly what he said he would do. Yes. It may not be when we want him to do it, but he's always right on time. Yes, he is. Because he's an on time God. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. So we all can be used by God. Yeah. If he so chooses to use us. That's right. But we just have to mature in God's word. Yes. We have to go from crawling to him. To walk into him. That's right. From walking to him to running. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Because when we can run to him, that's right. We can run to him when things are going good, when things are going bad. That's right. When it seems like everyone we know and we trust is turned against us, mm. we can run to him. That's right. So no matter what it looks like, we've always got to run to God instead of running away from him. That's right. Amen. Um, you better preach that. Yes. Because if we continue to run, our life and our soul is not being spared from going to the pit of hell on judgment day. Mm. Come on. Yes. Because yes. God, He created both heaven, and earth, and heaven. Yes. Mm. He created it all. Yeah. He watches all over all of us. Mm -hmm. And He decides where we go. After we leave this side of heaven. Mm, come on now. So we just have to continue to seek God's salvation. Yes. We have to continue to seek God. Period. Yes. Because if we don't seek God, then there is no one else to seek after. That's right. So instead of being rebellious, mm. we should run to God. That's right. Because rebelling against God does us no good. Nope. Yes. Yeah. So we have to continue to watch, fight, and pray. Yes. Right. So even though there are people talking about you, mm. down what you can do, there are going to be people in your corner that God provides for you who are going to help you. Yeah. That's right. That's right. As long as you continue to seek God. Yes. Period. Yes. So I'm up here today 
as a mouthpiece for God mm. to tell you stop rebelling against God. That's right. Yes. Yes. Stop sinning as much as you do. Because mm. there is no sin greater than any other sin because all sin is sin. Mm. Yes. All right. You better say it. Yeah. So yeah, you're rebelling right now and you're running from your calling. Don't worry, you can run as much as you want to. You can run, you can run, and you can run. Mm. But you can't hide. That's yeah. right. Because if God chose you to do his work, he's going to make sure you do his work. Yep. And sometimes you might have to go down to the master's road. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes you have to take things away from him. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes he has to cut some things off. Yeah. Mm. But God's going to make sure you do his work. That's right. Yes, he will. Because if he chose you, he chose you for a purpose. That's right. Yeah. Though you may not understand why, he's going to guide you and he's going to help you. Yes. Until you understand why he chose you. Yes. So there's no reason to rebel against God. Yeah, he lets some things happen. But it's all for a greater purpose. That's right. He allows some things to happen so you can help others. Yes. So you experience something. Mm. So that you have some kind of life lesson or a wake-up call mm. to show you that he's going to always be by your side. Yes. But he's going to let something happen. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah. And he's going to make sure that he does exactly what he said he was going to do. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. So no matter where you've come from or where you are right now, God, he can still use you. Yes. And as long as you continue to seek God and continue to pray, God can use you. Yes. So you may be rebelling now and think that you're getting away with it. Mm. God's going to catch up to you and he's going to deal with you the way he deals with you. Mm. Uh -oh. And you might run to people who going to help you get away with what you're getting away with. He's going to deal with you too. Mm. Uh -oh. But it's all right. Come on now. Because we all going to get saved. That's right. We all going to be used by God in a different way. God is going to use us. Yes. Sometimes we just have to go down a Damascus road yes. to seek his salvation. Yes. Sometimes we have to let God do what he does. Yes. So yeah, sometimes things may get hard and things may get tough. God's going to make sure we're all right. Yes, yes, he will. As long as we continue to seek his salvation. That's right. As long as we continue to seek him instead of rebel against him. Yes. So, yeah, some of us have to go down to Damascus Road. And some of us have to pray that someone we know goes down to Damascus Road. Mm. So that they may be saved. Amen. Because God is going to use us. Whether you like it or not. Amen. And it's all about sacrifice. Yes. And a leap of faith. Yes. Amen, somebody. As I look around, mm. I see mighty men and women of God. All right now. You may not be there right now, but you're going to get there. Yes. God is going to use you. Yes. Whether you're running or not, God is going to use you. Yes. You just have to accept the call. Yes. Yes. Some of us may accept the call earlier. Some of us may answer the call later. Yes. But God is going to make sure we answer that call. Amen. You better preach. And sometimes to answer that call, he has to put us down a Damascus road. Yes. Yes. So I leave you. Continue to pray. Yes. Continue to seek God. Yes. Continue to do God's will. Yes. Yes.
continue to do what God wants you to do. Yes. Stop doing the things you want to do. Mm. And see God to do what He wants you to do. Amen. Because your life will be so much better when you have God on your side. Amen. Yes. And instead of rebelling against God, seek Him. Yes. Because He's going to provide for you. Yes. Yeah, your bills might be late. But God, he's going to make a way. Yes, yes, he will. So that your bills get paid. Yes. yes. But we've got to continue to tithe. Yes. And sow our seeds of goodness. Yes. Because you reap what you sow. Yes. Yes, yes you do. So good, you reap good. Yes. So you yes. yes. Say it. Sometimes you may not reap your harvest right then and there, but you're going to reap your harvest. Mm, that's right. You may not be in the same way. But you're going to reap a harvest. Mm. So whatever you want to reap, you better sow it. That's right. And continue to pray. Amen. Continue to seek God. Yes. Even if we have to go down to Damascus Road. Yes. And I thank you for taking the time to listen to a word. Yes. That God has presented through me. Because mm. I'm not giving the word. I'm just a mouthpiece. All right. All right. And I'm grateful that God has chosen me. Amen. Amen.